Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to uh, Workers and Resources in the Soviet Republic. Yeah. Okay, so I've wound the, the time forward just a little bit and did some uh, balancing and tinkering and so on, which would have been tediously boring, so I didn't, uh, I didn't record that. Anyway, uh, what I've done is uh, I've got the uh, the uh, finance is basically sorted out, I think. So if we uh, duck in here, if we look at the loans, uh, we've got almost 13 million rubles outstanding loans wise. But uh, it was closer to 20 million uh, before I started tinkering. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely uh, a better. The interest rates are a little bit lower because I've rejuggled the loans a bit. Um, Right, and we are also, if we come in here, uh, we're bringing in like 370k monthly. You know, we're, uh, we're almost 400k monthly on, uh, uh, you know, net on uh, rubles. And that, uh, that will easily cover the 240k uh, debt servicing, right? So, um, yeah, so what we're, uh, we're doing... Uh, if we look in our exports uh, to the Soviet bloc, we're exporting fuel at a pretty decent rate. Uh, we're exporting alcohol at some sort of a rate. Uh, we're, and we're exporting bitumen. And we're also exporting steel. Now, uh, I did discover while I was tinkering that the steel production had been gutted, uh, partly because the coal uh, was insufficient for everything. Like, there was generally things were collapsing because of various problems, one of which was lack of electricity in buildings. Yeah, uh, it turned out I didn't have enough substations. Uh, we're also exporting iron. Uh, so, yeah, so we got uh, we got a fair bit being exported there. Uh, now, if we look at our imports, we're importing power, but we're we're importing that to sell to the uh, the the capitalists. Uh, so we're uh, bringing in we're bringing in dollars as you can see the dollars are going up uh, we're importing food at a uh, at a so somewhat lower rate than we were because uh, and I'll, I'll go back over there in a bit uh, we're uh, importing coal uh, a little bit um, and that should be for this heating plant down here uh, we're, uh, importing, uh, crops, which will also, which will be for this, uh, alcohol production thing here. Uh, and we're doing a little bit of import for other things for construction and so on. Right. Uh, so, uh, we've kind of got things balanced. Now, while I've been blathering, we're up about a hundred K in, in rubles. Right. So, uh, basically I've got things sort of sorted out. Like we're at 500 K net positive for, uh, October, 1969 at the moment. Uh, and that's, uh, that's about where it's going to be because we're almost finished with October, 1969. Right. Okay. Uh, so if we uh, duck out of here, let's go back over to our, uh, main operation here. Uh, so what I got going is I got some, I got the, uh, collection here getting into, uh, silos at a, uh, a better, uh, storage capacity. And I've got that, uh, I'm collecting the crops from here and I'm bringing it over to here. Uh, and that's feeding into the food factory, which is keeping the food supply over here full. And, and then we're distributing from, from the, and, oh, and I put up a second food factory, right? And we're distributing from the, uh, warehouse here to the uh, food stores, the grocery stores in range. And that's, uh, that's making, that's made a huge difference because we were getting gutted on food imports, right? So, uh, so there was that. I've also over in, um, uh, Coal Town here, uh, Coalville, I have added another, uh, coal processing plant, uh, because we were mining plenty of coal here right? Like we're, we're mining coal to, to uh, beat the band, right? Uh, but it wasn't keeping up with the exports from here 
over to st the steel production and the uh, electric production and the heat production, right? I also discovered that uh, a lot of these uh, buildings here were uh, uh, were uh, without power and or were with unstable power or unstable heat. So I added a couple of uh, uh, substations um, because uh, we were having substations with uh, local consumption over 100%, right? And I added a couple of uh, uh, heat exchangers. I added one up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I added a heat exchanger over here, uh, which uh, uh, kept the buildings from being uh, exception like excessively cold, right? So we've got uh, you know quite a few, uh, quite a bit of that going on. I also uh, recruited a whole bunch of people to replace the ones that left. Now let's uh, look at the population statistics. Uh, so far this uh, this month, we've had 154 births, 129 deaths. Well, well, 155, 132, and 12 people have escaped. Now, so if you add these two, that's uh, say 150. So we're we're kind of net po net positive. We're about break even. Um, now. Uh, we have some health issues, we have some loyalty issues, we have uh, some cultural issues, and we have, yeah, we're, we're generally doing okay. So I'm, I'm not that concerned about that. You know, I'm happy to invite more people uh, later as long as we have the cash. Now, something I can do, well, what I wanna do if I haven't shown you before, uh, I can't remember, what I did is I set up a uh, power uh, line from uh, the customs place over here on the Soviet border. And I just ran the power line across here up to the uh, NATO border, right? And so I'm, uh, I'm exporting a megawatt here, right? And, or, you know, I'm exporting 10%, 1.8 megawatts, right? And then down here, I'm uh, importing a megawatt or 1.8 megawatts, right? So uh, that's just a, a way you can cheese the uh, system to convert uh, rubles into dollars or dollars into rubles. Uh, it's not really cheesing it because I'm really, I'm taking from one place. I'm acting as a broker and selling it to another place. It's, it's, it's not, uh, not cheating or anything, but it is kind of uh, amusing. Now, when we were setting this up, I had the notion of setting this all up with farming to provide the crops for the uh, alcohol uh, production, which would save a lot on the uh, imports, right? So that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to set up uh, crops here, like farms here, and I'm going to set it up and uh, we'll set up a food processing plant and a few other things. So what we're going to do is grab, first of all, uh, food and crops related. We're going to turn off auto building. Uh, and we're going to build uh, medium fields. And we're going to put them along the border over here first. One. Okay, zoom in so you can see what you're doing. Uh, two. Three, four, five, yes, I'm counting, uh, six, that's six, um, how many can I get per agro farm? Um, I'm going to do eight, seven. Eight. Okay. Now I flip this around, right? Uh, okay. And we'll put a gap here as well. One, two, three, 
four, five, what? Six, seven, eight. Okay, so we got uh, a bunch of, of those. Now we'll uh, go in here and we will uh, grab a gravel road. Uh, we have a building on fire. Yeah, we're going to run a road through here, right? And we're going to connect the fields to it. Now, we only need a gravel road here, so that's why I'm doing gravel, right? Um, right, we do this, we do this, we do this, and we do this. Do this the fire was extinguished we do this yeah and we can do this and this and this yeah this and this okay so we have that now we can come out here and we can do this All right we can go here and then we can go here Yeah, we'll connect like that. And it's winter, apparently. Uh, okay, uh, we have a building on fire. Let's look. It is a thing. Oh, we have, we have fire trucks there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yes, okay. Now, let's go back down here. Right. So, we have... We have winter, and we can't see anything. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, I'm going to need a couple agro farms here. So, uh, we need... Uh, food, agro farm, and we can stick... We can stick them over here. One and two. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to need to do is have a uh, crop storage location. I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange that, actually. Um, road cargo station. What? What do we have here? We have, okay, we can connect that. Oh, okay. We can connect that to several uh, silos. Yeah, that that's what we can do. Okay. Now, where am I going to put that? Well, I think I'm going to put this up here. Uh... I think if I put it, uh, let's put it over here. Uh, yeah, we'll put it over here. Okay. Maybe we won't put it over here. No. We're going to put it over here. Are we? No. Well, let's put it here. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got grain storage. So we can put a, put a silo here. And we can put one. Uh, okay. And we can put one here. And we can put one come on, connect here. And we can put one here. Um, that looks ridiculous. 
Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, but it uh, adds uh, crop storage there. Okay. Uh, we want this, and we want here, and we want uh, a gravel road operation. And we're going to run a road that comes up this way. Uh, and goes around this way. Right. And then comes around, comes down. Yep. Comes around. And we're going to come down through the gap. Yeah. Yeah. And this is going to connect like this. Why am I connecting these to the road? Well, because it allows the fire trucks to get to them. Right. So that's some storage stuff going on. And that's, uh, well, we might as well build those roads. Yeah, we might as well build all the roads. Um, they're uh, inexpensive, so that's, uh, that's a reason to build them, right? Um, right, that was an autosave, I believe. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we do that. Right. Let's uh, build some more stuff here. Um, I do wish when uh, when you uh, plop a building down that it wouldn't uh, set all of the uh, roughed in roads to start construction. Uh, that's uh, inconvenient. Uh, right. Right. Okay, we can do this. Oh, you might be wondering why I've uh, set things up to accumulate dollars. It's just in case we uh, there's something that we uh, need in the future that's available in dollars, but not in rubles, uh, or something that we want. Um, that's uh, that's basically what it is. And since we have enough surplus rubles that we can uh, we can just do the power brokering thing and get a few dollars. Uh, it uh, fire was extinguished. It uh, basically uh, it's it's a. Uh, it's what it is. What it is, you know. It's it's something we can do. It's relatively uh, uh, uncomplicated. Uh, what we're going to need here is a distribution office. Um, we're going to need a couple of those, actually. Right, so I can put them up here. Uh, okay, so we want to go in here and we want to have storage here, right? Distribution office. Okay, so we can go in here. And we can put one here. Right. And we can do this. Yep. Okay, now uh, I think we're going to need a second one of those, but I can't, I can't recall how many uh, things they can service. But what we are going to need is a fuel station. Uh, right, and that is a gas station, which we can stick right here. Right. Um, and what we might want to have down here also is technical services since we don't have uh, plowing going on. So uh, infrastructure that's here, is it? Um, technical services, yes. Uh, and we can stick technical services in, uh, well, we can stick them in right about here. Okay. 
Now I'm going to build the technical services right away. Why? Is then I can acquire um, plows, right? And uh, plows are immensely useful. Uh, so we're going to buy a mechanism with uh, rubles. Uh, plowing speed 21, 19, 23, 43. Let's just put a bunch of those in there. Uh, let's also uh, go in here and uh, under power, right? Uh, we're going to uh, stick a substation in right here. Yeah. Okay, we'll build that and we'll build that. Right, now we have to get that from the power source. Uh, so that's going to need this. Ah, we can come up this way. Yeah, and we can come out this way. Yeah, okay. We'll build those. Yeah. So this now has power. Um, this is... Yeah, okay. Uh, so we're doing okay there. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, let's build the uh, fuel station. Yeah. Good. Because we're going to need that. And let's build this because we're going to need it relatively quickly. Uh, okay, so now that we're uh, plowing our roads... Um, you know, basically, uh, things will uh, will get moving a little bit faster. Uh, what we need here is some uh, vehicles. Now, we need a covered hull, I believe, for crops and food. So that does four tons of crops, two of food, seven and four and a half uh, covered hull. Um right page two uh, that does 10 and 6.5 you know the t138 it's uh, relatively slow but um that does well, that's even slower. It does 10, 9. Yeah, we're going to go with the T138. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, this is going to be uh, the uh, crops distributor. Okay. We need to assign some tasks. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, what we need to do, though, is uh, build the uh, the farms, right? Yeah, build the farms, build the storage. Yep. Okay, that's going to uh, Okay, we've got the silos uh, Right now if we check in here uh, Yeah, we're okay there. Okay, uh, so these guys uh, we're going to not auto search. Um, are these? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to assign here, 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 and here, and here, 
and here. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go down here. And we are not going to auto search. And we're going to assign these. What? No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Good. And this one, we're going to do this. Good. Okay, now, in here we need some mechanisms. We're going to need uh, sewing. Uh, level 24, 17, 24. Um, eh. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go harvesting, 22, 30. Okay. Right. Now we go down to this one and we do the same. Sewing. Harvesting. Good. Okay. Okay, so we've done that. Now we need to go up here and uh, assign some uh, tasks. Okay, so we're going to what? Okay, so we're going to assign here. Uh, yeah, and then uh, here, 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 and here, right? And then to here. Road cargo station is going to be unload. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. We have that now. Um, can we, okay, we can add all of those. Those are all load. Okay, good. Close. Building is on fire. Um, let's look at it. Where is it? Uh, is there a fire truck coming? There is. Wild. Okay, well, let's go back down here. Yep. Fire is extinguished. Okay. So, this, um, farming operation is, uh, probably sort of operational we won't see it doing anything useful um at least for a little while uh we got a whole season before it's going to right uh but we also need to get um crops into the distillery right uh so let's go in here on the uh, rubles um, 
Now, if we set this to uh, auto purchase below a certain amount, um, Why is it, uh, oh, we're importing from the border, right, 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 right. We're doing our own delivery. Okay. So, we can change that to uh, collect it from the road station here. Yeah. But we, uh, there's no point doing that until we have crops coming in. So, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave that alone for the moment. Uh, what we need down here, actually, um, it's probably some, uh, some health care because, well, um, yeah, uh, some health care might be good. So where can we, uh, shove a hospital? This is going to be equipment for citizens, right? Um, hospital. We can fit one in right, oh, we can fit one in right over here. You know what? Let's, um, let's do that. Okay, well, we'll, uh, build this. Build this. And, uh, get rid of, no. No, we'll build that too, just because. Yeah. Okay. So if we build the hospital, right, okay, now uh, we're going to buy ambulance, 90, 100, uh, 90, Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And uh, that is giving us uh, some health care. Right. Uh, what we want, though, is to go over here and uh, no, go into pathways and uh, uh, I think we probably want to do this. Yeah, that'll get uh, the workers a little bit closer. Yeah, um, I think we're probably, uh, we're probably okay for housing down here for the moment. Yeah, I think we are. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, now what we're going to do is uh, check in on the economy stuff. Now if we look in over here, uh, we can uh, we can borrow money uh, for five years. We can borrow two million for five years at five and a half percent, and we've got a five point nine percent loan here. A couple of those. Uh, now, something that that uh, that we could do is uh, replace a loan, uh, but I don't know that that's necessarily worth doing. I mean, uh, we can just let these tick along, and uh, the payments will go away in time, and you know, basically, uh, you know, as long as this number goes up on average we're good. 
But anyway, uh, we're we're paying eight k uh, rubles uh, daily uh, for our uh, financing, right? But we don't have anything overdue. Uh, but we've got like 1,400 days left on some of these. Uh, I'm wondering if we can retire this faster. As if we go back over here. You know, we've got, uh, we're, uh, now we're only up 100k in at this point. So, yeah, oh, that's because we've uh, done construction, right? Um, yeah, we bought a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so, so we're, we're doing okay there. Um, yeah, so when it ticks over to February, uh, we can, uh, we can, uh, you know, take a look at what it's doing, but, uh, I'm pretty sure, oh, where, what was I looking at now? Oh, right. Uh, we have here uh, uh, some, uh, well, we're, we're negative for the month so far, but we just need some stuff to get to the border to export, right? Now, I think if we look at the imports, uh, we're going to see food and stuff be up higher in the winter, but I'm not sure on that. Um, well, clearly we're exporting something right now because the negative is getting smaller. Okay, yeah, so we went positive. So I think we can actually afford to, uh, say, cut this to, if we cut this to one year on, uh, Well, let's uh, let's do do that. I'll borrow one of those for one year, and we're gonna pay off a whole bunch of uh, uh, outstanding cash. Now it's gonna cost us a little bit more, but this will get paid off in on half a year, right? Uh, and I think. Um, that might be a little too much actually, but, uh, we've got a million here. So, um, yeah, probably should have been one year, but let's just see how that goes. Right. I can always borrow it again at a, a for a longer term at a higher rate, but if we can pay off, uh, pay off a fair chunk in half a year, uh, then our uh, financials get better, right? Is we could uh, borrow a small amount to uh, tide that over, right? Uh, you know, just leapfrog it, right? And eventually we should come out ahead as the, uh, the money borrowed retires, right? So as you can see, uh, we're paying this off quite a bit faster. So if we go in here, you see the uh, uh, the um, you know 178 days left, you know from 180 whatever it was. Uh, so uh, we're paying about uh, 10k a day, is it? Yeah, something like that. So uh, about 11k a day. Uh, so, uh, we'll, we'll end up paying that back eventually. We're a fair, fair chunk of the way toward having enough cash to cover it. So maybe we will, uh, and then that retires and our commitments go down faster. Right? So that was, that's the idea behind it. So I'm going to leave the balance where it is. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, go up over here and, uh, uh, you know, look around up here. Uh, so here we have a bunch of workers. Uh, we don't have anybody in that building. We do have people in that building, though. 
and that building. So we have we have spare uh, capacity up here. So uh, housing capacity. So there is somewhere for people to live up here, and that's uh, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, and we got our uh, our stuff going here. No, that's the export thing. I want to look in here. Yeah, so we've got we're keeping up on our coal, so that's definitely good. Uh, we're keeping up on our uh, mining. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we're doing okay over there. Uh, now we'll check in over here where we are mining iron. That's doing okay. That's full. Okay, so if that's full and that's full, uh, this that means this is uh, running along pretty uh it's running at max capacity uh for the workers available so uh yeah uh that's uh that's not too bad so we're we're exporting steel uh, at a decent rate here um we're producing it at a slower rate than we're ex than we can export it but that's fine uh it means we're exporting everything we can and you know that's okay so this one is about to uh, depart yep there we go yep so that's good and if we go up to black gold here uh, we'll check in on the thing here um, we are down on uh down below we got 90 percent in there okay and you are without power supply oh okay um right Uh, where's the, that's a, that's a switch. Yeah. That's a building is without power supply. Get rid of that. Okay. So clearly we need, where's the high voltage line? Where's it? actually let's um, get in here and if we grab this, ah, we can bring one down from there. Okay, directly. Uh, you. Okay, so if I were to put an electric substation. right here let's uh, auto build with rubles oh there's fields in the way yeah uh, there would be um if i was to place a substation here and somehow get the uh wires um Uh, through okay and we can go up this way yeah we can come over here come over here and over here does that get us okay that building now has power okay now um fire is extinguished y you gotta stop doing that okay now over here building is without power supply what if i were to 
what if I were to um, interrupt this, put a put a medium voltage switch in here. Yeah. And do this and do this. And we have a building in the way. Yeah, we have a building in the way. Well, we can come around like this, though, and get up to the... Uh, where's it? The transformer is here. Okay. So we can come down this way. Come down this way. And connect up like that. Now... Does that give us buildings without power supply? Um, okay. Now it's not. Okay. Right, so now you are not complaining about power. Um, and you are... Okay, so that might uh, improve some things. Yeah, it might. Um... Right, so over here we are, well, we're still, we're still producing stuff here. Uh, we have, um, over here, we're down to 16%. So, yeah, uh, we, we have a fair, fair amount of food that we're producing, but uh, uh, we'll hide the mini map now. So it was worth checking in over here. You are uh, producing. You are not storing any bitumen because you are exporting it. Okay. Right. Then at some point, a fuel exporter thingy will come in along here and it will export stuff. Um, we probably have a traffic jam over here. Not really. We have stuff uh, exporting here. What are you? You are... What? You're importing crops. Where, where are you going? Colville Distillery. Um... view um, we are oh we're importing and exporting on the same trucks are we yeah I think we might be Um, we are not going to load at the custom house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to load at the custom house. Um... Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, so that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, so if we don't load at the custom house, uh, 
Right, now if we go in here uh, and we do this, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do our thing there. Now, uh, where is the, that's Colville, uh, where's the distribution grain collectors um, you um, right you can close uh, where are you you are here okay manage office tasks grain storage okay um, now we're going to add and unload at the, where's the distillery? There it is. Uh, okay. So we add, uh, to the distillery. And that is going to be unload. Uh, yeah. And we'll do that at 50%, right? Yeah, we'll do it at 50%. Okay. Uh, good. Um, so where's our uh, distribution point here? Oh yeah, we got a road up here we can use. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, now if we check in here, all related vehicles. We have a stack of vehicles on there. Um, right. I think perhaps we should do manual purchasing and uh, not uh, auto purchase stuff here. Yeah, okay. Well, we are now delivering crops into there. So I suppose that's okay. Uh, we'll auto purchase nothing. Okay. Uh, so if the uh, distillery stops, uh, exporting things or, or producing things will be fine. Now, by no longer importing stuff here, uh, we should increase our uh, income overall, I would think. That's my theory anyway. Well, uh, crops are dwindling until the uh, Operation delivers them there. Um, yeah. Okay. That uh, missing crops. Okay. Good. Uh, that is uh, perfectly fine. Um, crops that we imported, uh, we still have a few of those that we're uh, bringing in from these trucks here. Um, <clears throat> buildings on fire. Yep. Um, okay, so I think now uh, these guys are empty, right? Almost. Um, you are... Nope, you're a farm. Uh, you are, well, you still have stuff in there. Okay. 
Um, right, okay. Fire is extinguished. Go in here and uh, uh, look at the tasks. So we're unloading there, we're unloading there, we're unloading here at 90%. Okay. No, we want to go, What we're loading it at greater than, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to empty that out. That That's fine. Uh, uh, we have uh, grain stored at the other location. Um, uh, oh, I need to uh, check in on this. Uh, uh, this here, uh, vehicles. You are, um, okay. What are, what are we doing here? You are Colville Distillery. Uh, what we can do here, I guess, is... Uh, oh, we've got a deadlock here, don't we? Um, oh, it's alcohol export. Okay. Uh, right. Lines. Alcohol export. Uh, we are going to uh, distillery. We're going to turn off wait until loaded. Yeah? Yeah. Accept change. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, we deadlocked it with the wait until loaded thing. Okay. You are... Okay, you're leaving... Okay, once the deadlock clears, we should be fine. I could fix that by putting a road cargo station in here for the uh, uh, exports, I think. Yeah, I probably could. Or I could just nix this whole operation altogether. You know, I could do that too. Um, right, yeah, I probably should do that actually. Right, um, so this should, okay, yeah, this should, uh, this backlog should clear uh, pretty, uh, pretty quickly here now. And where are we at here? Okay, we've got deliveries with our uh, our uh, trucks here, right? Yeah. Where is it getting the uh, the crops from? That's a question. Uh, that should be like empty by now um 
it's not. Uh, where is it? Okay, down to four. Well, okay. Well, let's uh, let's go back up to the uh, thing here, uh, which is here. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, okay. So now we've emptied it out. Okay. Shouldn't be uh, a lot more uh, uh, deliveries coming. Um, okay, and you are alcohol export. Okay, so we'll grab the line. We'll look at alcohol export. And you are... You are... Oh, we're picking up crops on those. Okay. No, that's fine. If we're going to do that, that's fine. Uh, right. Yeah, we're good. Now I understand what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. I get it now. Good. Uh... Okay, we're we're fine. Um, uh, and this should now be empty. Good. Okay. We're I am unconfused now. Good. Now, let's just uh <clears throat> check in on here. So, uh you can see uh at 111 days left, uh you know, like we've paid uh a third of what we need to pay back, right? So uh, we're uh, we're doing we should be doing okay uh, on that. Uh, we should we should manage to get all the way through the uh, the loan uh, without having to borrow more to cover it. Uh, I mean we're up to uh, to this here, right? You know, uh, but if we go into uh, here and we look at uh, at at March, you know that's four ninety five, right? Uh, so. Uh, we're uh, uh, and if we look here, uh, we're paying five thirty. So uh, we're we're not uh, we're not going backwards that much with this uh, this extra payment. So I think we can afford that. Um, right. So if we go this month now, yeah. So we're uh, we're doing our thing here. Uh, Right, so that's that's a good spot to put the cut. I mean, this is longer than I was expecting it to be because I got distracted. Uh, so yeah, I'm not planning to make these things an hour long, but, you know, it just happened. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, yeah, um, so I guess stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. Since there's apparently a light at the end of the tunnel now. And, uh, yeah, you know, like, comment, subscribe, set the notifications, whatever, or not, as you see fit, and uh, see you back next time.